Okay folks, here's a unit four assessment. It's actually the shortest assessment you got. You gotta know your stuff though. And there's not as many points on it, so if you just blank on a problem, it costs you um, you know, a higher percentage of the grade than is if the problem had like if it was a longer assessment, okay? This one's even shorter than the first couple we had, okay? Example one. It's on the document for those virtual. Write an equation for the table. Okay, so the table on the document looks like that, but I'm not a good square drawer, so I've got temperature in degrees Celsius, so that's C, it says it on the table, and then velocity. And that's going to be V. I'm not going to put the, the label the label for it. So 0, 5, 10, 15, 331, 334, 337, 340. All right, so the velocity is what you start at, okay? It starts at 331. Then I'm going to add a rate to it, okay? And the rate is multiplied by C. I need to see the time C or it's wrong, okay? Remember how you figure out the ratio, start at your bottom and minus, always, minus. 340 minus 337 is 3. Don't put minus 3, just put 3. 337 minus 334 is 3. Minus 3, 3. Because up 3, up 3, up 3. Now you work it forward. Okay, that's 5, that's 5, that's 5. So that's 3's on the top, 5's on the bottom, okay? So I got 331 plus, now I'll take 3 divided by 5. Now, if it's a decimal, that's fine. I just don't want one of those that go on forever. That one's pretty clean, so I'll write 0 0.6 plus 0 points, sorry. V equals 331 plus 0 0.6 times C. Now, if you're not sure about your answer, you punch in 331 plus 0 0.6 and times one of these numbers. Replace C with one of these. Let's go 10, okay? When I click equals, this better be at 337. It is, okay? Or if I do 15, 331 plus 0 0.6 times 15 should be at 340. Boom, okay? So that's the equation for the table. So again, the initial amount plus the rate, so that's going up 3, that's going up 5, 3 over 5. Now, had that been going down, if I'd have followed my game plan, I would have got a negative, okay? So let's say 331 would have been here. Let's say this would have been backwards. I would have still went down to the 331 minus 334, so I'd have just put negative 3. Then I would have been at the 334 minus the 337, negative 3. 337 minus 340, okay? Because if it was flipped around, it'd be going down by 3. So remember that one. And the next two examples are the same category. Tell whether the function is linear or nonlinear. This, again, does not take a lot of time, okay? So example 2. X, negative 3, negative 1, 1, 3. Y, negative 5, negative 1, 3, 7. Now, look at your y X's and go subtract. Okay, 3 minus 1 is 2. 1 minus negative 1. So again, I'll take 1 minus negative 1. That's like plus 1. That's 2. Negative 1 minus negative 3. You can punch it in a calculator. I don't really care. Okay, well, that's 2 as well. Okay. 7 minus 3 is 4. 3 minus negative 1 is 4. Okay. Negative 1 minus negative 5 is 4. Okay. So yeah, it's linear because that's always going by the same amount. That's always going by the same amount. So we have a linear table. I don't need the equation, just linear. You don't know how to write the equation for that. Okay. I don't, I don't expect it to. You've never done it before. 0, 1, 2, 3. Okay. So 1, 2, 5, 10. Guys, I realize this does fall. So this, so 1, 
one one five three one I realize that's a pattern but it's not the same amount okay it has to be the same amount that's not linear oh it's a pattern all right but it's not a linear pattern okay okay graph the function y equals negative 4x plus 3 so I'm going to go to graph paper you should know how to do it. It's just a matter of taking the time. This is the only one you got. Number four. Example four. All right. So two, one, zero, negative one, negative two. Don't be. This is a test. Don't try to be cutesy with the shortcut. That'll come in due time. So y is equal to negative four times x plus three. I mean, if the stakes are high, I want to go with the sure bet. Okay. I will teach you the shortcut way how to get it down stone cold eventually. Negative 4 times 2, negative 8, forward 3 would be negative 7, 6, 5. Okay. Negative 4 times 1 is negative 4. So if I'm negative 4 and add 3, I go forward 3, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1. Okay, 0 would be 0, 0 forward 3 is 3. Negative 4 times negative 1 is 4. If I'm at positive 4, it would be 5, 6, 7. And then, wait a second, did I screw up something? Yes, I did. One, yeah, that's a 3. No, I, I screwed up nothing. Okay. Negative 5, negative 1, 3, 7. And I'm guessing this is 11 since it seems to be going forward 4. Negative 5, negative 1, 3, 7, 11. So you can't see because it's a stupid graph got in the way. So x, y, positive on x, negative on x. Here's positive, here's negative. Okay, 2, forward 2, and y is negative 5, so I'm going down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You can label the coordinate if you would like, not don't have to. 1, negative 1, so forward 1, down 1, because negative 1, i got to go negative. 0, stay in the middle, here's 0, but y is 3, positive 3, so I'm going up, 1, 2, 3. And they're lining up, okay. Negative 1, 7, Seven's positive, so negative 1's backwards, like a number line. And seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, negative two, eleven. That's off the graph, so don't worry about him. Okay. I do not want you going up here trying to make grids. You're making it, yeah, you're making it look sloppy. Please remember to connect because it's continuous. I can put decimals in for x if I want. Okay, so it goes between the points as well, and then I could keep doing it forever. I mean, I could go 3, negative 3, 4, negative 4, 5. I don't know why the heck anybody would want to, but yeah. Okay, 5 and... Okay, here's 5 and... 5, 6, and 7, okay? Okay. You have to be on a graph, you virtual people, okay? Five, six, seven. And I will show you the assignment part, okay, when at the end, okay? You, for the virtual people, the in class have it on their thing. Tell her that that's a function, okay? Remember, it's the vertical line. So that goes through one point. So far, we're good, but now I hit one where I go through two. So that's not a function. Not a function. Okay, if the graphs are continuous instead of a discrete, you just pick any place and draw a vertical line. You only crossed it once. That's actually a good thing. That means that's a function. Okay, now, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. We're good. 1, 1, 1, 1. Function, okay? Okay. Okay, now we're to number 
8. Okay. The directions identify the domain and range of each relation. Those of you in class just chill, okay, because you have the directions on your sheet. Tell whether the relation is a function, okay? Okay, so let's look at number eight, okay? Okay, here's the coordinates for number eight. We've got negative two, five, that's x, that's y. Positive eight, six, that's x, that's y. Three, twelve, and you're not trying to figure out any patterns here, okay? Or So five, six, that's x, that's y. Okay, so the domain and the range. Domain, negative 2, 8, 3, 5. The range, 5, 6, 12, 6. Now, function or not? Function, not a function. Those are the two options. Don't just guess. There's a way. You look at your domain. The range does not matter. All these numbers are there just once, so that one's a function. That means if I graphed all these points, every vertical line would go through just one. Okay, the range doesn't matter. Okay, now you write, I want to see it, but you don't just use it to determine whether it's a function. Okay, number nine, same thing. We got nine, six, three, eight, four, nine point five, nine, two. We're determining domain and range, and then function or not a function. Domain 9349. Pretty much already know it's not a function because there's a repeated value of 9. Okay, not a function. Now just list your range 689.52. Those are the two answers, okay? I want to see domain and range as an answer and function or not a function. That should be easy points. You just got to read the directions. Okay, number 10, easy problem. A bottle holds 48 teaspoons of vanilla. The amount A of vanilla remaining in the bottle decreases by 2 teaspoons per batch of cookies. Write a function rule for the situation. So A... Well, A begins at, A is the amount of vanilla, that begins with 48 teaspoons. Then it decreases by 2, but 2 has to be multiplied by something, because it's per batch. Well, we don't know the number of batches, so it's B. Okay, the variables, I pretty much give it away. You just got to do the increase, decrease. And yes, you need to put times a variable. You can't just write 48 times 2. Not two. All right, then the last one. And then you people on virtual need to hang on for you shut me off, okay? Because I need to show you on the assignment, okay? I need to show you 5, 6, and 7, what those look like. Okay, you're buying streamers that cost two forty-seven dollars each for a party. You have $30 to spend. What's a reasonable domain range for this situation? And then is a function continuous or discrete? So domain, range, then continuous or discrete. Now, I know how to do domains like that, but with a word problem, we better set up an XY table. And we're dealing with streamers and dollars. Well, there's no time, but we know X cannot be the money. So X needs to be the streamers. Y is the money. Usually I do through three. If you do through two, it's fine. Now, if you don't buy any streamers, you don't have to pay any money. But you buy one streamer, you're buying it one time, so it's one times two dollars and forty-seven cents, two forty-seven. Buy two streamers, two times two point forty-seven. I want to see the times because it helps over there. It helps fill out your limit. Four ninety-four. And if I buy three of them, I multiply three by two forty-seven. 
Yeah, some oil wear, you can just add another 2.47 onto that, but then I don't see what the pattern is from the X to the Y. 741. All right, limit time. Well, I got $30. So it goes here. So question mark, but I know it's times 247. So what times 247 is 30? Well, let's divide 30 by 2.47 and figure that out. Okay, you need to put 12, okay? So put a 12 over the question mark. But you need to now multiply that and find out what the actual product is because it's not quite 30. 29.64. So the range 0 to 12, the domain 0 to 12, excuse me, the range 0 to 29.64, not to 30. You never reach 30. If you buy your maximum amount of streamers 12, you would get 36 cents change in return. Because 30, you pay them with a 30, it only costs 29.64, there'd be change. Now remember what continuous and discrete means, okay? Continuous means... X, which is the domain, can include decimals. Discrete X cannot include decimals. Well, I think if you go to a store, uh, you can't say I want 2.5 streamers because they only come by one, okay? They don't just rip it in half, okay? So decimals are not allowed, so that will be discrete. All right. Now, if you're in class, you can shut off and go shut me off and go to work. If you are not in class and you're on virtual, numbers five, six, and seven, okay. need to refer to this video. Okay. Here's number five. These are the ones where you have to determine if it's a function or not. Hint, hint. Number six. Okay. Yeah. And number seven. Okay. Anywhere I draw it, I think, yeah, yeah.